Remember that time you had dreams about a Mickey bar? Today, we are talking about iconic Disney snacks. We're talking about Dole Whips, churros, Mickey-shaped things, and cupcakes and other bakery case items. Mm. What better way to start talking about iconic Disney snacks but then with Mickey-shaped food? What are Mickey-shaped snacks? Well, they're pretty much snacks that are shaped like Mickey. That's just like biting magic, y'all. You are literally biting magic when you bite Mickey Mouse, let me tell you. I am 100% on board with any food shaped like Mickey. Like there are some foods I don't like, but if you handed me like a Mickey Mouse pickled beet, I would be excited, I would eat it. It is scientifically proven that food tastes better when it's Mickey shaped. And you know who proved that? Me. I'm the scientist who did that study. Have you ever had a regular pretzel? Boo! Mm. Have you ever had a Mickey pretzel? Regular ice cream cone? Boo! Mm. Mickey premium ice cream bar? Ooh. It just tastes better. It's science. It is literally science that if you put it in three circles, it's gonna taste better. It's kind of like how mayonnaise is disgusting, but aioli is delicious. Same principle. And I also did that experiment. Here's the disclaimer. I'm vegan. So I used to eat a lot of these things and now I don't eat a lot of them. And I will be pointing that out periodically. And I'm sorry for how annoying that is, but I'm me. <laughs> and that's part of who I am. I, I mostly go for the ear as my first bite. Like, especially, I mean, are we talking? What person does the Mickey ice cream bar and goes for the face? Who in their right mind is, actually, I literally had Mickey waffles this morning and I ate the face. Oh my gosh, I'm having an identity crisis now. And it just makes sense. Like, what are you gonna, you gonna go like this? No. Also, I hope that my editors photoshopped this into something Mickey shaped. Otherwise, here's my lipstick. It's um, engineering science that if you were to hold one of the ears and bite the face or one of the other ears, the weight of the rest of the snack would pull and tear away from the ear. So that doesn't work. You have to hold it by the largest area of continuous snack. People out here wilding out, biting faces. Mm -mm -mm. I can put up with a lot of things, but what I cannot put up with, and what I will not put up with, is people biting the face of a Mickey face tree. That's just too far. My favorite Mickey shaped snack is a Mickey premium ice cream bar because I'm not a ridiculous human being. Which, spoiler alert, I've also had from home because you can buy these at Turks. They're not as good. I really wanted them to be. They're not. Okay, I like objectively am a ridiculous human being, but my opinions tend to be correct. And the correct opinion to have about Mickey shaped snacks is that the Mickey premium ice cream bar is the best. On the surface of them, Mickey bars are just vanilla ice cream with chocolate on the outside. And a Mickey bar is more than the sum of its parts. It is so good. It's like a rite of passage. When you go to a Disney theme park, you have to have that iconic Mickey's premium bar. I have a picture of me eating a Mickey bar when I am like four or five years old and I have on a dashing red outfit, including red hat and red sunglasses, and I have chocolate literally all over my face. And the thing is, that's still what I look like eating a Mickey bar because in the Florida sun, it's basically impossible to eat it gracefully. Let me warn you, you might wanna wait about five minutes before you bite in that thing if you value your teeth. And then, like some kind of sad magic, they get too soft too quickly and start to fall apart. Is Mickey butter a snack? I'm sorry, what did you just say to me? <laughs> Mickey shaped butter is a, is a delicacy. It's a treat. And it used to be more common at restaurants around the parks and it would be like the butter you would get with your rolls at certain restaurants. In, in years past, it has since evaded us. It's not very common anymore. I know sometimes you'll still see it maybe on the cruise line or certain concierge levels or maybe at some of the international parks. Do people just eat butter? Like sometimes if I'm cooking and like nobody's looking and there's like, I'm cutting butter for something, I'll just cut a little extra piece just for me, just for me. 
Um. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> uh. Just for. Just for a treat. Good for you. I eat cream cheese out of the fridge with a, a spoon sometimes. Cream cheese. Sick. So, who am I to judge the fact that you want to eat butter on its own? Is butter a snack? No. But I only need the smallest vehicle for that butter to make it a snack. So like, I mean, just the, the smallest piece of bread. Good, live your dreams. You're at Disney World. There's no, there's literally no rules. Who cares? Who cares? You probably also ate a corn dog dipped in plastic cheese. Think eating butter is any worse for you than that? Live your dreams. Yeah, it's a snack. I, I think beer's a snack. Why can't, butter is a snack. Cream cheese is a snack. Live your dreams. Uh, Mickey butter is not a snack. It is a thing you put on bread. And the less I say, the better. I'm gonna get it all over my face. It's perfect. It's a must have. All right, here they are. The final three contenders in the great Dole Whip taste test got your classic pineapple, we've got your raspberry, and we've got your coconut. Ooh, Dole Whip! Swirl it up, swirl it up! Dole Whip. Dole Whip. What is Dole Whip? What is Dole Whip? Well, Dole Whip is as iconic a Disney snack as it is going to ever get, my friends. Dole Whip is the best snack at Magic Kingdom. It's like Sorbet and ice cream had a baby. I actually don't know if it's either one of those things. It's a soft serve, probably fruit flavored, like sorbet ice cream-esque treat. Dole Whip's Dole Whip. You can't, you can't beat it. You can't call it something that it's not. It's just Dole Whip. It's just its own magical category. Dole Whip. From the brand Dole. And they make soft serve out of their pineapples and they've created a million, zillion, billion other flavors. You can have raspberry and orange and lime and now coconut. But all this other stuff, Nonsense. I watched these Molly videos, okay, where she ranks them. One, the fact that she doesn't like pineapple Dole Whip that much only makes me question her judgment more than I already do, right? What are you doing? Who else out there wants a banana Dole Whip? I think it's time we got what we want. The world has been asking for years. We want banana Dole Whip. Give it to us. Do you? Dear Bedarians, I will freak. My favorite is, well, it's very boring. Probably pineapple, the original one, is my favorite, but I do like coconut quite a bit as well. Coconut Dole Whip is so good. It brought a tear to my eye the first time I had it. It is so phenomenal and creamy and coconutty and refreshing and oh my gosh, it is so good. I get one like once a week at the Magic Kingdom. It is phenomenal. Pineapple, 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 pineapple. I'm trying to be very agreeable. I go for that classic pineapple baby. You know, I have digestive issues. This is just a fact. And, and ice cream and things like that, I eat them but I suffer after. I don't suffer after eating Dole Whip. I can eat so much Dole Whip and feel fine. I love the pineapple Dole Whip, and I love when it's swirled with raspberry, but I have to say, when I went to Walt Disney World on my honeymoon and I had that, oh, that really delicious Peter Pan float, lime just hit different. I think that my favorite that I'm gonna go to over and over again is the pineapple vanilla float. I I think I'm going to be in the minority for this, but I would rather have a plain Dole Whip. For me, I can't just eat a, a plain Dole Whip. It's got to be swimming in some juice because the flavors hit different. Dole Whip float team all the way, all day. I don't like sugary sweet, artificially sweet things very much. And when you add the juice or the soda or whatever syrups you're going to add to the Dole Whip, 
it makes it too sweet in my opinion. I We're walking around Magic Kingdom, folks. We've made it all the way to Adventureland and I could use a swig of pineapple juice. Also, it's fruit. So healthy. Stop, stop it. Just give me the cup of the soft serve. My favorite place in the whole world to eat a dole up is sitting on the beach at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort and watching Happily Ever After. Aloha Isle at the Magic Kingdom because it's the only place I can get the coconut. Back when Georgia was younger, we would do like a stroller nap and then she would fall asleep. We would get Dole Whips, eat them while she was asleep, which is kind of mean. Then she would wake up literally to the band playing as the you know parade came by and then we would hand her a Mickey premium bar like right when she woke up. That is the dream. She'd be like, <laughs> My favorite place to eat a Dole Whip on the planet Earth is in Disneyland outside of, well, in the Tiki Room. You're allowed to bring your Dole Whip into the Tiki Room there. That is the only answer, sorry. The only answer is Disneyland's Enchanted Tiki Room. I'm always like, it's not my favorite flavor. But you know what? It is so good. <laughs> the next item on my list is a churro. Churros are delicious, fried, crispity, sugary, cinnamony treats. Cinnamony. Little drops of heaven that manifest in crunchy, delicious patashu pastry that are deep fried and then rolled in cinnamon sugar and given to you to give you life that you never know that you needed. Churros are like if you bought ruffles and um, made them really long and put cinnamon on them, but not a potato chip. I don't like churros that much. <laughs> Have I had a churro? Yes. Do I eat churros? Not really. They are like probably my least favorite Disney snack. I didn't used to be a churro fan and I grew into the churros. I always kind of thought of it as a Disneyland thing. I was like, <laughs> that's for the California people. Walt Disney World? Y'all about to be 50 years old, okay? 50 years of subpar churros. Now is the turning point. Disneyland has better churros. Hard stop. There's no debate here. They're not close. If you think they're close, you've not eaten them though. Do something, surprise everyone, and just talk to your neighbor. Talk to your older sister and say, look, Disneyland, hey girl, how you doing? You doing okay? Look, can you just give us the vendor, give us the recipe, give us the cinnamon, give, look, give us the magic. My favorite place to eat a Disney churro is in Nomad Lounge, where there are actually good churros. <laughs> I'm gonna say Nomad Lounge, which is probably everybody's answer because you can sit out on the porch, you can have the best churros in Walt Disney World while you watch the characters float by, and you could also eat something else delicious, like their cheese board or um, some great sliders, and you can have a great cocktail. So it's like more of an experience about the churro situation. Right now my favorite place to eat a churro is in the hub in front of Cinderella Castle because everything tastes better when you're looking at Cinderella Castle. Much like it does when it's Mickey shaped, it also tastes better when you're looking at Cinderella Castle. There's something about just finding a nice quiet spot next to the castle and just watching people while eating a churro. This is really good. I'm I would have to say that my favorite fried dough would not be a churro. It would probably be a hush puppy. Where are the hush puppies at Disney? Can we get some more of those? I'm a beignet gal. Or as I like to say, beignets! I also love a donut, but only some kind of donuts. I'm very picky about my donuts. Krispy Kremes are supreme. A beignet, a churro. can't even get long enough to make this graph. I love beignets so much, but yes, yeah. Charles are my favorite form of fried dough. I mean, you have your donuts and donuts are great. And you have your beignets and beignets are just <laughs> heaven. But it's a churro for me. Disneyland churros are better. And two, you want a really good churro? Head to the Nomad Lounge over at Animal Kingdom. Again, a lot of these classic treats we've seen all over the place. 
Oh, a Disney bakery case is a very, very magical place where most, if not all of your dreams can come true. It is a display case for all things bakery with information needed for you to make an informed decision on which sweet treat you will be eating on this point in your vacation adventure. That's loaded with some of Disney's iconic goodies. So you'll see cupcakes in there. Sometimes you'll see different toffees or cookies or Rice Krispies treats. And they're all fresh. They're all baked that day. And they're in the case and the case is lit up. And let me tell you something, that case is gorgeous. It's, it's like what you picture as a kid the majesty of colors and sweet deliciousness. And you think, ooh, which of these delicious things am I gonna eat? You press your grimy hands up there and you think about it. Except don't do that, okay? Don't actually press your face against the glass. And then you're like, one caramel apple, please. And then you get a caramel apple and you're really happy. In fact, my one and only qualm with the fact that Main Street Bakery turned into a Starbucks is that now that bakery case has a bunch of the Starbucks pastries in it and those do not deserve to sit next to Disney pastries. My favorite Disney bakery case is the, the confectionery right on Main Street USA. It doesn't get more magical than getting a Rice Krispie treat or a caramel apple right on Main Street. It's the closest I can get to the Main Street bakery case of, of your. How can you beat it? Like that whole store is just so pretty and magical. The vibe is so perfect. Like you walk in and you're just like, ah, and it's also, I also hit that on the way out. It's like the perfect ending to the day. I feel like it's located in like the most perfect spot. It's very like Main Streety. It's on brand with the whole thing that Walt had going on with Marceline and all of that whole thing. My favorite thing to get out of a Disney bakery case is a caramel apple. Specifically, my absolute favorite, 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 favorite bakery case item in all of Disney World, and I'm not even sure this counts, is a Werther's caramel apple from caramel caramel kusha in Germany. So if I had to, I'd probably say a crispy of some sort. I, I'm a big fan of the crispies. Either a Mickey shaped rice crispy treat or a caramel apple. Specifically the caramel apple that has nuts on it because I like the crunchy nut, and the sweet caramel, and the tart Granny Smith apple. If it's there, that English toffee, that almond English toffee, that's a square of delicious, like salty, sweet, toffee, crunchy goodness, covered in chocolate, and then almonds. Oh, so good. My favorite thing is probably a cupcake, I would say. I think usually they're the attraction that um, would get me to, to actually partake. Because of the rotating nature, because they will be sort of fun and thematic, if I'm gonna get something out of the bakery case, it's probably gonna be a cupcake. Disney cupcakes are very famous for being elaborately decorated, very Instagrammable, but often not that delicious. D Disney loves their frosting. They really, really do. They're too much, honestly, for me. They're too sweet. They are like 90% frosting and I'm more of a cake kind of gal. Like I don't want the frosting, I want the cake. They love their frosting and they also love their toppers. What do we got in the back? Can we, what, what can we throw on these cupcakes? Oh, I've got uh, a matchbox, pipe cleaners, not the crafting kind, but like actual pipe cleaners. A high heel in Lost and Found. It's not Cinderella's slipper, but maybe we can just say it is. All of those earrings, those bobble bar earrings no one bought last season. We'll put, throw those on there. We'll do an earring cupcake. That'll be nice. Call up Joe Rody. Have him come over. He can do the, the grand unveiling. When, when it comes to cupcakes for me, I want something simple. I want, you, I want a funfetti that somebody made for the bake sale. I don't need all the frosting and all the dramatics that come with the Disney cupcake. <laughs> Ella. There's more. You cannot go to a Disney park without trying one of these iconic Disney treats. If you are going to the theme park, odds are you are going to have your eye drawn to one of these amazing treats. And in most cases, you're probably gonna get one. And that is a good thing and that is okay because you should treat yourself. Overall, I think that all these treats make the Disney experience what it is. It's kind of like the monorail where you just fully associate it with Disney World. Yes, it's delicious and yes, it's fun, but I think a lot of people like it because of the memories. Like I specifically remember 
eating Mickey bars and watching the parade when I was very, very little. I, there's a reason I like getting a caramel apple before watching entertainment. It's because that's one of the first dates my husband and I went on. We saw Fantasmic and we got a caramel apple at the bakery case in Hollywood Studios and we went and saw Fantasmic. So I think the treats have a lot of nostalgia for people. You know, you, maybe your parents got you a dolp and then you went and saw the Tiki Room. And so I think the treats are a big part of Disney and it's because they're a big part of our memories and they taste good in our bellies. Vegans deserve to have fun, okay? That's what I am all about, is I may be a sober vegan, but I know how to get crazy, okay? I drink a lot of water because I know how to party, yeah! Hey everybody, it's Molly. Thanks for tuning into this week's RTT. We hope you didn't make you too hungry with these snacks. Make sure to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know when new episodes are coming out. If you want more RTT right now, click over here for a list of all of our Disney Parks episodes. And if you want more all ears, click over here for my Mickey Foods Challenge. Thanks for watching.